Hi everyone, and welcome to this quick Unity tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to add a vignette effect in Unity. Let's start by creating a global volume in our scene. Go to the hierarchy right-click, and choose volume greater than global volume. This will create a new game object with a volume component attached. Now, with that game object selected, look at the inspector window. Click new next to the profile field to create a new volume profile. This profile is where we'll add and configure our visual effects. Once the profile is created, click Add Override, go to Post Processing, and select Vignette from the list. Now we have access to all vignette settings like intensity, smoothness, roundness, and color. Vignette Component Overview Intensity controls how strong the vignette effect is. Smoothness affects how soft or hard the edges are. Roundness changes the shape of the vignette. Color change the color of the vignette, which can add mood or artistic style to your game. So if you want, you can also play around with other parameters like smoothness, roundness, and color to customize the look even more. These values let you fine-tune how the vignette appears, whether you want a soft cinematic fade, a harsh dark border, or even a colored tint for more dramatic effects. Make sure your camera has post-processing enabled. Otherwise, the vignette effect won't show up at all. Just select your camera, and in the inspector, tick the post-processing checkbox. In this step, we'll learn how to access the vignette effect from code, so we can change its settings in real time. We import the necessary namespace Unity Engine and Unity Engine.Rendering.Universal. These are required for accessing both the volume system and URP effects. Next, we declare two private variables one for the volume component, and another for the vignette effect. In the awake method, we get the volume component using get component volume greater than, and then try to retrieve the vignette effect from its profile using tr If the vignette is not found, we log a warning message in the console. This is a helpful check to make sure everything is set up correctly. Then in the update method, we check if the player presses the space bar. If they do, and the vignette is valid, we set its intensity to 0.5f. This creates a darker vignette effect during gameplay, which you could use for things like taking damage, low health, or cinematic transitions. Now let's take a look at what's happening inside the update method. Here, we're checking if the player presses the spacebar using input. Get key down key code dot space. This means the code inside will only run once, the moment the spacebar is pressed down. Next, we make sure the vignette effect is not null, in other words that it was properly found and assigned earlier. If both of these conditions are true, we set the vignette intensity to 0.5f. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.